the ghost trap. This piece of equipment provides the ABC of ghost busting. Always be closing. That's right. This bad boy is for closers only. Sure, the proton pack starts the fight, but the ghost trap ends it. Invented by Dr. Egon Spengler and Dr. Ray Stantz in the fall of 1984, the ghost trap temporarily captures ghosts for removal and transport. Work. How does it work? Well, unlike the proton pack, the trap is not powered by a radioactive isotope. Instead, it has a rechargeable battery located in the rear of the trap. The activation switch delivers power to the trap's main housing, as well as the trigger pedal, but does not deliver power to the inner cartridge. As a safety measure, the trap's default mode is set to off, which means even if the activation switch is on, the cartridge is cut off from power, preventing it from opening. Only when it is set to trap will the main housing feed power to the inner cartridge, like a pregnant mother to her unborn child, if that child devoured souls. If you believe you're pregnant with a soul-devouring devil child, call Ghostbusters Northwest immediately and ask about our Demon Seed service package. And save 25% if you have twins! With the inner cartridge powered, the trap can now be used to catch a ghost. This is achieved by a simple two-step process. Literally, you step twice. Step 1. Press the pedal once. This will swing open the trap like an upside-down set of Bombay doors. But rather than bombs coming out, ghosts get sucked in. However, the trap doors will remain open until step 2, pressing the pedal again. Do not look directly into the open cartridge as it pulls in the ghost. The eyes are the windows to the soul, and this bad boy will suck your soul right out. Only politicians and social media influencers are immune, as they're already dead inside. Once the doors are closed, the trap will appear to be smoking. But don't worry, the trap is not hot. As a matter of fact, it's not even smoke. It's actually the ghost remaining PKE left behind in the form of a mist. Like one last fart after death, lost in the wind. While most of the world call it the ghost trap, it technically goes by a different name. No, not thirst trap, although that does attract a different kind of creepy apparition. No, its actual name is muon trap. Why? Because technically it does not trap ghosts, it traps the muons around them. What's a muon? Well, when the accelerated protons from a neutrona wand collide with the negatively charged ions of a ghost, it produces muons, a negatively charged particle with a mass over 200 times greater than an electron. These dense muons weight the ghost down, like a deadbeat boyfriend without a job, finding itself entangled in a prison of its own making and contained within the field of ionized radiation emitted from the trap. This is known as a conic entrapment field. Because of the density of muons, this cone can maintain its integrity undisturbed by chaotic conditions found in the Pacific Northwest, be it weather, earthquakes, or caffeinated hipsters. The cone is steered by hollow lasers and can be adjusted using the cone adjustment dial. Rotate clockwise to increase cone size and rotate counterclockwise to decrease the cone size. There is also the preset dial which contains a selection of cone presets. A wider cone will entrap spooks over a larger area, but dilute the entrapment performance, whereas a narrow, more focused cone will entrap higher charged entities, but require more precision in guiding them into it. Once a ghost is contained within the trap, the yellow bar graph will indicate the level of NRADs. Many rookies confuse this with NARDs, which is what the Wolfman has, and should be kicked immediately if you encounter the beast. Then call your local cryptozoological animal control agency. Unless the Wolfman is dead, then call Ghostbusters Northwest to deal with its cursed soul. NRADs, however, stand for Net Radiation Absorption Dosage Per Second. When PKE, or psychokinetic energy, is contained within the conic entrapment field, the muon trap needs to shield itself, and you, from that radiation. The more PKE energy that is trapped, the more radiation is produced. The more radiation the trap must shield, the more power it drains. If a trap vibrates, shakes, or has electric discharge after successful entrapment of a ghost, then the PKE level is approaching the NRAD shielding limits, as indicated by a maximized yellow bar graph. To help manage all these complex variables, the trap has controls located on the front panel. Sync. This syncs the inner cartridge and the main housing to make sure they are successfully connected. The NRAD switch allows you to slide between three different settings, manual, 
which allows you to manually adjust the overall spectral radiation absorption limit using the NRADS dial. The higher the limit, or the more amount of PKE that can be contained in the trap, the shorter the storage time before the battery is drained. Preset lets you select the multiple NRADS presets using the dial and guard lock, which overrides all settings and locks the shielding limit to maximum. The mode select switch toggles between four different operating modes. Off, as shown earlier, this cuts off the power to the inner cartridge, preventing the trigger pedal from opening it. Trap, this allows power to the cartridge so it can open and entrap a ghost after each pedal press. Auto detect function, which auto detects the PKE level above the open trap and automatically converts to the proper NRAD shielding levels. While this is easier to use than trap mode, it has a slower entrapment performance. And lastly, there is trap plus guard. This function can be only used once, like a hall pass from your spouse, locking the cartridge at maximum containment power levels after a single pedal press and entrapment. This is only for emergencies, when dealing with a class 5 apparition or higher. The trap can only be used again after it has been emptied into the containment unit. What is the containment unit? Well, that's a lesson for another day. Until then, if you see something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters Northwest. On call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. To serve the Pacific Northwest's supernatural elimination needs.